Hey, it's Brand Flake Apps, and today I'm going to be reviewing Ball Dodge. But first, before I do that, um, I want to say thank you to Matt Bud Mac. I think Matt Bud Mac for being my like first official subscriber, and um, so thank you, Matt Bud Mac. Um, and I want to tell you about my new website. It's brandflakeapps.blogspot.com. So go check it out. There's app reviews, cause um. So yeah, and this is probably going to be my only app review because I'm not really an app review guy. So um, don't count on some more. So alright, anyways, let's get started. So if you open up Ball Dodge, there it is. This is my old phone so the screen's not so good. Um, you see the balls go down, and then so that's pretty cool. And if you click support, uh, there's some website stuff and you can check for update, which it actually really does check for an update. Uh, check complete. Ball Dodge version 2.2.1, and so that's it. If you click refresh, it actually does refresh and actually does load if the version is like pretty not if it is like actually there. So that's pretty nice. I like that feature. If you go back, if you go back again, and if you go about Ball Dodge, you can see developer simple SDK sponsors App Store Mod and clicked apps. And if you go to website, YouTube, or iTunes. It opens up the internet, which that is the one thing I do not like about it. Well, there's other things, but um, I'll get to those. But that is one thing I do not like about it. It opens to the internet. And, all right, so if you go back. Oh, yeah, sorry about this. This is my old phone, so the screen's like not so good. And so if it changed views, it's, yeah, it's different. But, all right, so if you play game, you can select the level, with, uh, which is another thing I do not like it. I just wish it was, like, just if you click start, it'll just start going instead of, like, select the level. And so, click level, start level. You can actually move around the square before the game started. So it's like start right there. You tap your start, and so you start moving. You have to dodge all the balls. Oh, uh, looks like you crashed. Tap to dismiss to continue. Dismiss. It's cool. And another thing I do not like about this app is it does not count your score. So I mean, it's pretty much just like free play. So I mean that again. And level three is the hardest. And I'm pretty sure he's, I think he's working on like a new like version, so it's like so um see it's a little bit faster and everything. Um so it's a new version, so it's like has high school scores and everywhere and stuff like that. Um so that's the whole entire ball dodge app. Uh I think in the end I'll probably rate this a four four stars or three and a half stars. It's pretty good because it has some errors. I mean, it needs a little bit more creativity into it, like this and stuff, like more cool fonts and maybe not like a square or something like that. I don't know, just maybe like a like a package or something like that so the balls don't crash or break the package. I don't know. Anything, but um, it would be cool. And um, Oh, yeah, and if you hit this info button, uh, tap go back to tap back to go to the level picker of ball dodge so um back and it takes you back and stuff like that but um there's some few errors but in anyways this app is pretty addicting it's pretty fun it's pretty it's a good idea um i think it is worth 99 cents so i mean i'll check it out it's your decision so anyways all right thank you and this is brand flake apps so please rate subscribe any comments suggestions for my other tutorials and remember, go check out my website, brandflakeapps.blogspot.com. All right, so just go check it out. Thanks. See you.